been trend wise with the company itself as if hey, I was looking Jedi at like uh, David here sort of like if you were in high school and you had all the technical momentum people you went to high school with and you trying to project seven? which one of them would earn the most money Starting and want to invest in them as a person. That's how I looked at companies. When I first As started out, I was financial more of an advisor, in, investor, trade with your sort of, but looking at a trend in a, uh, in a future individual stock. For okay, your right. Knowledge so in the market, how did you go see what's in the early days? Did you have any you know, much week? success right away, sure or was it sort of a bit of a slow plan. grind? Always, always. Yeah, I think I had the unfortunate uh, uh, success of being in the right, 90s. Guys, and weeks, uh, I got really more aggressive towards the mid to late 90s with the capital, and I was got two. It became too easy, and I got too lucky with the tech. I was mainly just in tech for any self the late nineties. So it's very big pullbacks so accustomed and, uh, to a lot of uh, still exponential growth, many with caution in the, the, the web-based companies. Highs. So I sort of got spoiled really in the late nineties, and then uh, the ES Daily didn't react finally quick breaking enough out in March two thousand and two thousands. I tried to uh, adjust and kept trying to swing trade to the upside. And found out very quickly that stocks don't always yep. go up. And Each I'm, week, I'm guys, not the I keep pointing to the catalyst that in might the just move this really market in either how direction. How to, how to trade, a lot of trade grinding in the AM sessions, the global sessions seem to be the ones to look for these days. Okay, right. So you were sort of. Can trying to simply leave the, the intraday technical trader sort of to question on any fall. given day. Is this the day what we pull back? What were some of the other things you might have struggled with well, early on? I can't stress on. enough, guys, to leave that by the door. Simply watch the charts in front of you. you. When I say watch the yeah, chart, it's trading what I'm too big and being too aggressive. You simply know, watching too big the core setup, the high sizes, probability setup. Because it worked so well, and I was so rewarded in the late 90s. Looking for price action to break out. I had the components of position size. You're below the cloud. You don't want to have. You have enough losses in a row. You end up being 50. Down in your together account, and which I, with the I learned the hard way by the end of 2002. And a trade so I, mean, I learned position strategy size from that point that on. I never traded so big you. again. I traded more controlled position sizing. And article really after article, on, post after post, on, simply tweet after tweet. How many people are out there? The common thread that like you just can't push this market okay, any yeah, higher I, has I become daunting. Talk about that 50 percent drawdown you had ever looming years when we had 2K arriving. The world was going to fall apart. Our planes falling out of the sky. Um. You promised we yourself that you'd never get back into that situation. Simply, if I had subscribed um, to the same so thinking back think in November 2016, post-election, I'd be sitting on the sidelines. Now, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I'm as uh, ready as anybody else in this market to pull back. The, Close uh, out those you know, open gaps below, reset goods. itself to even higher. I, I just thought, you know, However, from what I saw from it is the, not for me to guess the why from the, we are at these highs, the but to simply be ready in both really directions. From like 1982 this to 2000, outside of a few, you know, smaller bear markets, I mean, it was I surely can make the case that we had higher in week seven, guys. And held even I will one wrap long up term. with that. So I was so long biased, I couldn't even, I couldn't believe that the NASDAQ could go from 5,000 to look at Actually, let's go ahead and take a look at at could the even quick comprehend weekly that. recap, which so I learned you can, that it can go here both directions on tradingfibs.com, really, uh, including really the intraday. Uh, the risk uh, I'm sorry, each day's trading session recap. You get, get three out of five days from the weekly 2000 recap all the way that goes to, uh, over each and every 2010, day with a quick. Pretty much was a side of people that bought in 2000 right were still each daily trend even video. Let's go ahead and take a quick a look at some of those videos, okay. that's, uh, some of those on, charts that um, stood out for the week. I'd just like to dive into that a little bit. As what we can see the here on the 60 e, nice move on the Globex session overnight, solid hike and ash I mean, bars, tails it down underneath you to get the cloud, underneath the VWAP here with everything on. in sync. So why did That's you not what we're looking for then? on an intraday basis. Yeah, I mean, I had, and you know, I the learned reverse from again, the Globex session, no way an indicator of where we would be headed trading account to pay out my house at 28 and that beats the heck out of a 30 year mortgage and fighting with it. So I knew the potential was there. Yes, right here. Trends price right, action uh, again. Nice trade management. So, highlighted I mean, I notes here. Back to Cloud was. above the VWAP. Once I got back there again, I wasn't going to get it back. And giving I was yourself use an opportunity to, uh, to simply move the stop up from the and have more money entry to spend another if you were way on the simply ES, selling my price time action to an employer. And then price so I knew the potential was there. Again, I knew I did it before, and I, I knew I could do it again. Trade and I knew many other people studying anywhere up here. The legs of the trading had done it, so if they can do it. I figured I could do it. Get out at the top. What other games of the price is you such an upside potential? learning how to. Stay okay, in, great. And no, sometimes, that, that's really yes, interesting you get that you could identify the potential. It was just about learning how to actually handle, but 
take it, I guess you could say. Big picture here, um, above if you the could, VWAP tell us a little bit about your actual picture. approach to trading. So, Take a look how would you here define at your style? the 6J. Nice well, move really, on the end this week. A little bit choppy trends, again, whether but be a still finding that support at the VWAP. Not saying you would stay in this, but again, big picture trend holding upside 50 at 144 above in sync with 534 EMA. Based on how All I right, can so best nice charts again. You can find some other intraday frame. charts there. Yeah, there's many ways to do that. Even going into, into options where you're betting week, on and then see uh, where we're trend, headed Ari. and the big picture you're betting overall. On the end of a trend. Here we are, so daily gap I as I mentioned each week. The daily gap, a picture of open okay. gaps where now, price action jumps overnight on regular trading hours. For those of you who watch the 24-hour charts, you might not see these gaps, but as a regular trading hour chart, these gaps eventually. 100% so get filled what is it that you like the about this approach that I'm not saying they're happening with it. today, tomorrow, next yeah, week, I, I in like a month or two years. It could happen in five years. I'm not trying to predict anything. knowledge that as markets run up, on. eventually they will come yeah, back and they will frame. close these yeah, I'm, levels I'm just trying out to be with the all the way down itself. to that's right. I'm not trying to beat it. I'm trying to do keep what it's going, doing. Keep going. And yeah, it's much 15, easier than you know, being a funda- trading on fundamentals of value there, as we investor and you, to make these you think there's highs. untapped value there in earnings and Pinky you're just holding it what could be in year or two years. 125 you know, and our favorite up. ES all the way down to 1865. But at least in close proximity, we're looking at 92 and 7975. The money I've made, all the big money I've ever made has been in a trend where I've done nothing, where I've bought something, whether it be a stock or an index, and held it for Zone here in the month, 50s two months, as we have been longer. for the majority the of the latter 2016 and now 2017. Let's ring that just, bell, uh, 5541, all the way back fly. down. Yeah, we got like open it. gaps all the way back down <laughs> Great to 2941. Um, I believe your approach right, is also so influenced by the Nicholas Darvis system. Could you shine some light on this and maybe explain what this is? Yeah, all right, one thing to keep in mind in the week, uh, week to come is I'll note younger, at the end here, VIX, VIX, keeping that eye on the VIX my capital, but, as uh, February 15th strike the calls coming up this week on uh, Wednesday. Look at that open interest there and the, the strike calls in the 60s of by simply 20 to 23 and 15 to 17 the there. Stock Lots of volume based in that range from 15 all the way to 23. Somebody and, uh, will be in the money. Them, Somebody will be out Never watch the market in the daytime. Save all the emotional traumas, stress of watching persevere. it. You simply bought in the fastest moving stocks. All right, looking at the charts themselves. Let's start with the NQ. Them. Looking at the NASDAQ on the MML levels, the Murray Math levels and made here, modified and, against all on the Sierra charts. The common accepted common sense of trading. Give a bigger picture. I found it fascinating a lot of things he did. And I even As we sit here up at 5234, the overbought in quotes. And the 5234 on the reversal up here at NQ, like already Dakota passing and, uh, the resistance level, thinking we might have and, uh, bounced have found, there and come uh, back down, but we looked at the lower worked, time really frames for that. 51 uh, still sitting on you know, the daily the above the 15200, relentless to you know, the like upside, the rocket fuel, as we can see the NQ uh, the also that maintaining the first, this uh, move up uh, after the very first uh, filter lows cigarettes here back in December, price action just continuing to push upside. And his approach was so simplistic, and he was so, so ahead of his time, always found that incredibly upside. fascinating we go to the lower his time method and his psychology he used to capture his method. So, uh, it was very fascinating. Well, okay, so how did you sort of that discover that internal, and, and learn about the system? Back up to 40, we have a little system. bit of squeeze of range uh, there, as you can his, uh, see book on right Amazon, there. How I made $2 million in the stock market, which sounded like, you know, so many times I was still continuing upside, but it's the 60 and the 50 minute, they give me the intraday pick, as we see the bigger was. picture so still in an uptrend. It, We're it sitting was, on a 15 minute range right in the middle as we did on Friday. Was amazing. And then to see all the similarities the direction of both sides. The modern day trend followers and the modern day traders with you know, he was so looking at intraday we look support and resistance this but he called it Darvis picture, boxes and looking at the psychological all the way back down to what the traders were doing they were accumulating in stock. He was simply getting in stocks that were being accumulated heavily by by traders and, and all right, jumping uh, into the why and looking dynamic at the daily of and the four hour guessing, price action uh, random here on dynamic, the bigger picture headed up to 2031. So I think he really was way ahead of his time. 
20, okay, 31, that, that three, really 20, 31, um, three upside it sounds like first your level trades before that are mostly based off technicals. Do things like Anything fundamentals and news We're have back any down impact 20, on your decision making? One fifty six first not, not for support, anymore. I mean, and then they did all the way back on, down to twenty thousand major money support resistance fundamentals. on both all charts, my money and eventually. Came from Watch uh, that 50 identifying EMA and capturing then 19, long term trends. So I really, 19, 8, 4, over the last several years, the have abandoned charts. fundamentals completely, probably since about That's 2008. That's your bigger picture. Let's take a look at the, the intraday on the YM. Let's side, look at the trading ADX off charts and of course, star setup. Okay, as so price you're action just again, relentless uptrend here on the 50, now. 144. Um, that that that's it. No more fundamentals. Exponential moving average news. chart, as we can see no, over time, no, no has more been holding upside after no a lot news. of consolidation. A, a chart trading. I mean, I might I use have some MML psychological dynamics MML if the market rallies on bad news. Is a above twenty thousand on the resistance the here, headed up to the next news level. Twenty three one three. As we just saw over here, twenty three one three on quantitative charts. Okay. Right. Price cool. action on the ADX so what does a good setup look like to you? Um, index, what sort of things up. are you so looking for uh, to get into a trade? So we jump into the 60-minute to start out the week. 60-minute well, get well, at the highs. Trades might and see a reset. I mean, also, any pullback, if we'll the, be looking uh, at 20. Stock indexes are in a long-term <coughs> uptrend. 20, 0, you know, 0, 7, 8. In the 100 20, and the day moving averages. Uh, also using the way down RSI to oscillator as a filter for swing trades where on a daily chart All right. around the Jumping 30 to 35 the RSI will give me a, both a, a swing low and bottom. And a four we can see here so price action waffling up here. RSI 20, high 20, will give me a place to exit and lock in profits. Bigger range to come down, so we go to the smaller at, picture at to see level. where the resistance to support uh, is. I also use moving averages, 20, like if, uh, 20, 20, it's in all the way price down range here for a long we'll period of time, and something breaks out of the price range to, to new all-time highs, I'll buy it. And and again, relentless is the word of the week, holding an uptrend here. Like so we are once average. again in and this small time frame, 23, 12, okay, 50, so down to you're 22, in, um, can you tell us is this how do you range that we have that right here, as far as shown on a smaller stocks, time frame, uh, four-hour chart, targets, as we go from one level up this, to another, uh, just at the close of day? Looking upside um, next, how do you, how, upside 23, 43, 23, 28, but I go to the lower time frame for the intraday, holding on the ES. Let's take a look moving at the ADX. Average. There we I'll go. Price uh, action day, holding up here at that 23.1250 as we know, just saw the on the minute chart, below the four hour chart. Here average. we go. 23.12 so on a under range under chart. Daytime, relentless uptrend. 51.44. The 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 a little concern here on the ADX as it is the end of the run as the ADX now at the downside. Divergent there. Again, just the market internal to support. Possible momentum. I might trail all the way to a 10 day. All right. Looking at the 60 minute 50 I mean, that's what my really day stop. can give you the but bigger picture here, 23, 12.50, again, a similar a number as we see here day. on the but wherever my, ES my stop is, range chart, so we look down to 22.96, all the way down to 22.81, so again, a number the that, the we at at day that we look at each day after the globe session, as these charts can reset themselves overnight, and so we'll look to those levels in the morning and give a clear picture intraday, but again, stick to the bigger picture, you know that if we're upside at any given moment today, we could turn back down but those trade five levels shares of it, so you'll want to watch for both directions both the full upside range. and cost me one percent of my trading capital all right so taking a look and, at so the a crude initial stop as loss crude to prevent the loss of too much trading capital continues to there's hold here after stop, losing a little winner, bit of support at the 50 it, bouncing back to upside to get, major to get support much resistance down here at the 50 up to 50 Okay, bigger range that's, here. That's we really go to the smaller chart. We found support out 5156. So upside, we're looking at 5469. I know you really push the, the topic of risk management. Here, 5313 um, what would you suggest are some solid risk management rules that could potentially save a trader Again, from blowing up their account? Again, I told you we've been waffling in between this range. Yeah, this, is, this is something that so many don't so understand. Where back uh, Larry Hyde and several other market winners talk about never losing more than 1% of your trading capital per trade. And so many new traders and even experienced traders think, oh, that's too small. Taking a look I'm not, at I'm trade the with daily more than chart capital, on and, the and it's not saying trade with 1% of your capital. It's just saying don't now between the 50 and the 200 upside trade. here, 1250, so, I mean, as we can see here on the four-hour chart, even stock indexes, back you down to 12, can't 18, lose more than 1%. Well, that will you be put a half of, first you can book 25% of your account in, like, say, the S&P 500 index, and 50% in, you can drop, it would have to drop 2 
percent for you to lose one percent trading still account. Upside. So that's one GC, way to have a large position size and not to lose more than one percent. And if, if you have multiple positions on, 12, I don't, I don't want to expose myself to more than three percent total risk. If, if I have three stocks and all Take three at the cause me to lose one percent, that's a three percent drawdown at the one yen, time. That's, that's the most I want to. Kind of chopping it up at the lows here on the daily, holding underneath the two hundred. A lot of times I'll just do one trade at a time. I mean, I'm very conservative. I don't ever want to be in a situation where I can have four, five, six trades go against me and be down. Below, uh, right above the 50, uh, okay, smaller so that 1% picture rule, of that's the bigger something picture. you still stick to, to this day. Uh, yeah, I've become more believing in it more sit here at the than, I will, than I ever have because movement if you can have, can uh, you can have a couple of 1% returns on your capital in a month, you can have great annual returns and still never expose yourself to too much risk. Here, but we'll the have danger to comes the in the drawdowns where... And they don't, so a lot of people don't understand, you know, you get down 10%, it time. takes an 11% return to and get our back six to even. Euro price you get down 50% in your trading account, you have right to have a 100% return just to get back to even. Price action and get I don't know very many trades that have a 100% return in a, in and in a year, so it's important never to have those drawdowns to slowly chip away and get and, and finding the support here, four hour chart yeah. can reset itself during One the week. The, um, so we'll look back a upside if we about find that would support be, here um, at 50. Back if upside risking one percent of your account for, will be for a lot of new traders who have a reasonably smaller break above account. Um, All right, so quick recap there again on the, the market's going to have to move quite a way before they actually even cover their commission. Looking back up to 2320 right 23 20 is the next yeah, level of the four of hour chart. We'll want to look to the, the intraday. The biggest mistake new traders make is they start those with levels capital, upside and, and then they blow downside up. So they only got a few thousand and then they're like, taking a look at the NQ, the daily, and the four hour again. You know, so much percentage pretty return until so they go too big and they risk the their whole account here on each individual stock. And they blow up so many times because the probabilities are, you know, if you're risking a several percent, even 5-10% per trade, the daily, you don't need a few in a row losses and you are blown up and you're going to be in the red zone. So a lot of it, they just need to wait and build up enough capital to trade for the next couple of months. And they will blow up 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 too to much out money at one time because you're going to have a losing streak every time the market changes All its right. um, character and dynamics. But we surely can make the case, guys, that we head higher in week are, seven with momentum happens. clearly holding the course. Okay, Intraday you pullbacks being bought happens. right back so up to close upside or flat. To get you However, on the economic okay, front so for week seven, I walked tepidly in the first half of the week and await the reaction in the second half with Monday being a slight... Uh, light on the economic really front, followed by testimony uh, trend by Chair Janet I Yellen mean, on both Tuesday it, and you know, Wednesday with month. those posse of really Fed speakers throughout the week can to, uh, light up the algo you know, searching for any keyword that may be dropped in hikes for 2017. And again, as I mentioned before, go ahead and throw in your VIX for those strike prices for 21 to 23 for February 15 with over 1 million plus open interest may just be what the market needs for a pullback. Is that a good idea for Let alone the little dream that I had there on Friday night that the market was going to drop i can't put faith in my dreams but i can say account. that would be a nice with, pullback with no at some knowledge point. of all right, so before. technical momentum probability at this point no, continues I, I for me to they, remain they at this point to lead us higher on the first, indices, then they lose, but then with they extreme caution so you have to on the bigger pick, in my humble first, opinion, if all things try. remain now, constant and nothing occurs to shake things up downside, are, you know, even a year stated over the last several weeks. Books, at this point, it won't take much. I stay with caution as seen on the charts, as we saw today, based on my week-to-week strategy that puts price action in a stall at these levels. Obviously, and, you know, I will be ready to alert on the change in trend or continue moving upside through social media and my daily outlook. For the indices, ETF holders, or long-term, different rules may apply as quarterly rebalancing is my preference for managing such markets. Option to move those trailing stops to key MML, Fibonacci, or moving average levels can lock in more profit if and when a pullback may occur. I can't help but recommend for the long-term portfolio holder a year Check out and do jasonkelly.com for is more I mean, information really on investing time. with a 3% yeah, signal. It, Good information is like out, a It's a profession. It's like a doctor, lawyer, a professional athlete, and I don't videos. know any lawyers that would try to bust in the courtroom you. and start practicing law without first there going we go. to law Jason school. Jason Kelly, letter right so there. Check out his YouTube channel with some of those 
you know, ninety percent of the traders to be the ten percent profitable is still for a very lofty goal. For some great, and I think it's going to give them that edge over other traders on, just to, to uh, really understand what they do, what they're doing, understand risk management, uh, understand how their own emotions are going to affect their trading, understand traders, how the market itself, there it is. There's emotions are going to make irrational uh, things great, happen, uh, one -on -one and understand uh, for discipline understand the historical market. price patterns. And how they All play right. out. Uh, and if, if they don't, they're not going to be uh, the 10 percent profitable traders. They're going to be the 90 percent of frustrated traders daily, that are losing their money and don't even understand why. Uh, they're technical losing momentum money. for the so key if, future if markets no and field, indices. Feel free to stop by at tradingfibs.com or any of my social media right outlets to obtain more information. My trading mantra: one simple strategy, any market, any chart, any time frame will keep you disciplined. You can find me every day on Twitter at tradingfibs. And as always, I leave the crystal ball to the experts. I only watch. Watch what's in front of me point, and that's, on the you know, charts getting the edu when getting educated. trading, so and I leave that bias like to at ask the door. You, For those, those who are interested in joining us in a community of like-minded um, traders, to to taking those, those highest um, probability setups, rules feel free to email me, David, at Trading Fibs. You may join us on any Thursday or Friday to view the live chart setups as they happen in the trading day. Have yourselves a Blue Zone week, wherever you may be. Good day, good night, and good trading. There's so many free resources nowadays. You know, the, the they have to the problem with new terms is